Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is Artosis versus Arter Turtle on Citadel. This is the winner's round two. Upper left hand corner, we have Artosis starting as the pink turn. Bottom right hand corner, we have Arter Turtle starting as the green Zerg. I'm wondering if Art. So uh, I didn't feel like Arter Turtle played his best game versus Fa. And part of it is I'm wondering if he was toying with his food and trying to make a better match of it. Because um, I could see. He's a very. How do I put this? He brought a cooler of water. He's heads up and looks out for other people. And that's what makes him an awesome dude. He's also a little bit down on himself. And I feel like he did not play up to his potential the previous uh, Starcon. Uh, the Starcon that was in New York City. Specifically because he ended up playing up against Gypsy. And he ended up not playing his standard game uh, in ZV tier. At least that I had seen prior when he was going through BSL. Or in uh, Broodwork Clan League and some other places. And I know that he could play better than he played. I think it was one of those things where he saw the name and then opted to play a little bit. Uh, he saw the name and didn't end up playing as well. Oh, going for a nine pool here. And I'm wondering if this is again this scenario. This is very... Uh, so I'm wondering if he's hoping that our... To this is a very mind gamey. And I'm not sure I like this play. Never mind. This is going to be one base. Okay, never mind. He's dropping the gas for to get the extra... Uh, larva out since he is going to go for a nine pool opener. Um, and so interestingly, going for a nine pool opener, I think he was hoping maybe that on Citadel, because it's a larger macro map, the standard play is to usually go one racks into expansion, get or go for that front door seal, go for the. And so I'm thinking Arda Turtle was hoping to catch Artosis in maybe a faster expansion, maybe trying to skip the initial barracks. This is going to be cross spawn. So there's going to be less information, but it's unfortunately also cross spawn. And so it's going to be as long a distance to try to traverse for these Zerglings as possible. So Overlord checking the left-hand corner. It's going to see this SCV. I think it's going to be able to see these, this SCV. Is he going to be able to dodge? The SCV does not see the Overlord. Where he does see, and was he able to dodge? Oops. I think he was able to dodge out. And I don't think Artosis... I don't know if Artosis saw that Overlord or not. There is a way to like dodge in and dodge out. And the Overlord doesn't get spotted. But anyway, going for the base across. and So Arda Turtle should know it's top left. Not trusting his drones. So he's moving the Zerglings out. I'm wondering if this is to dodge this SEV. Or if he just is trying to uh, move, try to throw him off as long as possible. But as soon as Artosis sees a lack of third gas. He's, he's got to be thinking either, okay, this is a third base before gas. Or potentially Zerglings, and we'll see how he reacts. He's already plugging the the the, the natural though, so already on top of it. I think Arter Turtle might have had a little bit of a window there. He trusted the instincts, but now instead, well, able to get one SCV kill, able to swing in more SCVs pulling off the line. Two Marines killed. Gonna get the third Marine, but a, oh, never mind. Doesn't get the third Marine. Third Marine with just a sliver of health. Nice defense by Artosis. And part of the hard part with trying to execute that against Artosis is Artosis is well practiced against that exact sort of thing. If you're going to cheese Artosis, really what you got to do is you got to put him in the dark early and then do something crazy in the mid game that he's totally not expecting. Like, I don't know, drop some five hatch or go five hatch Hydra bust or something along those lines uh, before he has an opportunity to even comp set. Uh, things along those lines. Really got to... It, it's hard to pull one. And he's right now trying to go layer at the natural expansion to throw him off. There will be a little bit uh, later <clears throat> than usual. But Artosis expansion a little bit later as well. Still holding the Marines on the ramp just in case. Sticking on one barracks. And it looks like he is going to go for the... Uh, I think this is going to be two racks Academy as far as the follow-up. We'll see if he opts for the Engineering Bay after this. He's going to go Academy first. A little bit rare to see Academy into Engineering Bay. Like, two Rex is a standard play, and Artosis being... Like, what I know of Artosis... The problem is, is it's Tournament Artosis. It's really hard to tell with Tournament Artosis what you're going to get. Like, he will throw out absolutely everything. There's what he does on Ladder, which is just kind of the absolute standard two Rex um, Academy style, and then pressure the front and uh, play the game from there. Um, but then there's Tournament Artosis, who every once in a while will throw out something a little bit more... Uh, off the wall and crazy. It looks like the Zergling, I missed the Zergling able to suicide in and halt the command center for a few moments. The, and the Marines are able to clean up the kill, but a little bit of a victory right there. So we are in fact going to see the two Rex Academy play, which has um, become much more of the, the standard. Some more Zerglings 
making the way across. A lot of Zerglings built here initially. Art of Turtle going for two gas as far as a follow-up. So I'm wondering if he's going to go for a heads-up two. We'll see if he go. Usually this indicates it's going to be a heavy Mutalisk play here in the mid-game. Artosis dropping that command center, or that CompSat station, wants to make sure he can get eyes and see whether a third base has been planted or not. So CompSat station up. Want to see whether he can't. So CompSat's a natural expansion. Spots the lair. Sees no sunken colonies. In the meantime, going for a bunker, even though it was a 2 rex play. And drops the additional CompSat in the main and is able to spot the Spire to get that timing. But in the, this is more the stuff that can kind of oftentimes catch Artosis off guard. A lot of Zerglings have been constructed. And piled near that third to maybe go for an attack and run by, but I'm wondering if Artosa's seen the lack of Sunken Colonies at the natural, has, uh, or, or if his, his old Brood War player game sense is here and he's like, oh yeah, this is going to be a bust. Engineering Bay is up, by the way. Uh, range is upgrading. Six Mules taking fight. We do have a Fire Bat out in the midst of this, but this is going to be a bust attempt here from Arta Turtle off two bases to try to basically, and he's going to stick, and, and this is where we're going to just see the halt at this drone count. A couple Mutalists are going to take flight here. But it's going to be all Muta, all Zergling trying to peel down and wipe out this natural expansion. And Artos is just piling the troops, getting getting some turrets down, getting as much down. He is, yeah, do, does need the turret on that third barracks line just in case. Never mind, Artos is dropping a third base. But I still would not be shocked to see him throw a lot of these troops out. Now here's the thing, he doesn't have to suicide these troops in. He can just move the Mutalists in and use these as a degree of map control. And this kind of plays pseudo... So you end up with a uh, more of an economic hit, investing in that many Zerglings here to start. But you do end up with some map control. And you don't have to worry about your opponent wandering out on the map. So you do end up with that third gas potentially secured. The problem is, is as Terran starts moving out on the map... Uh, factory sub-730, by the way. The problem is, is once Terran starts moving out on the map... Oftentimes you can be starved for the lurker units and things to kind of press them back unless you have really, really sharp Mutalus Micro. And it looks like, yeah, Art of Turtle now pressing is able to get a Marine kill. See, here he's playing Moore's game and put himself in a really good situation. This is what I wanted to see out of Art of Turtle right here. He's making he's making uh, an attempt. He's uh, So I do feel like he was sandbagging Sva a little bit, game one, out of courtesy. But right now, showing more what he's capable of. Loses a Mutalus right there. Because of the comp set, that was a really sharp concept by Artosis to catch that Mutalisk on the edge. <laughs> but Artosis has the missile turrets up over that barracks line. Plus one weapons upgraded. Nice snipe of that SCV. And this is more the Art of Turtle that I know he's capable of playing here. So I'm glad I'm glad he's uh, playing heads up here. In the meantime, third base up, no gas as of yet. More Mutalisks making the way forward. Wondering when he is getting that Lurker Tuck upgraded. So now the question is, is does he... Either whittle the medic marine forces down enough, or between these zerglings. Ooh, this is clever of Artosis. Sorry, I missed another a nice micro on Artosis, able to pick off another Mutalist. A single marine able to sneak out is just trying to survey. Did not find these zerglings along that upper edge, though. And now we got a couple hydralisks being produced down on the map. So Comsat again to see whether there's some sunken colonies. Additional Comsat in the main just to try to see what's going on. Sees the hydralisk then, so presumes there's a third base out. And so rather than using commsats, this Marine is out on the hunt trying to find the third. And this is much more defensible third here at that 3 o'clock location in comparison to uh, Kudos play previously. Control tower up. A siege tank being constructed alongside that science vessel. So Artosis wanting to go for a potential bust. And Art of Turtle staging these uh, these hydrals going to go all the way to the front. I'm wondering if he's going to go for a potential soft contain with the initial lurkers to try to buy himself some time. He does have a full control group of Mutalisks here. He's got a full control group of Zerglings. But unfortunately, by moving these Lurkers out on the front and trying to morph them, this leaves a big window where Artosis can move out and kill those Hydralisks before they're able to morph into Lurkers. Maybe the... the la and So now Artosis sees that, but I'm not sure he... I don't think he comps out of the Lurkers or the Hydralisks in position. <laughs> so Art of Turtle wanting to engage Artosis on the front rather than letting him out. The third gas is up. And basically allow aggression to be his defense. I like this. And I like this in particular on this map. I think this is uh, intelligent play. So Queen's Nest is up. 
Hive is... This is going to be the big fight, and this is the unfortunate bit. Yeah. Artos is moving out. Artichurdle Steel might be able to clear this out. Getting a lot of damage done. The Lurker's now coming in. The Lurker's might be able to burrow right here on the high ground. And able to get some Medic Marines. Artichurdle now in a, a difficult situation where he needs to retreat and defend. There, there, if there was another 10 or 15 seconds right there, that battle would have completely flipped. So Artos is moving out at the exact time he needed to. To not end up contained... We're having a, a protracted contained situation. So now he's got the siege tanks. He's got that science vessel that can really tax the lurker defense out on the forward field. So it's going to be a tough defense from Arter Turtle. That hive just about halfway finished. But this is a large amount of territory to try to cover at the same time for Artosis. So there is an opportunity. And Artosis has done a great job of macroing in the space of this as well. And this is where having all those zerglings is really punishing the unit count. Ooh, a latent drone spotting the battlefield. Going to have to walk its way back. But uh, the, yeah, the science vessel moving forward. <laughs> see a couple of these drones a little bit misrallied. Uh, Going to chase these lurker back as well. And Artosis is able to get an initial radiate on the lurker. But this is also providing a little bit of time. So that hive is up. Do we see that? I'm looking to see. It looks like more lurkers are being constructed rather than an immediate. Okay, there's the defiler mount being constructed. And unfortunately, Artosis just has been absolutely crushing it on the macro. And Arter Turtle, because of that large dedication force earlier is a little bit uh, lower and so he's not going to hit the timing here so flooding the drones out of that third and that's where again another 10-15 seconds earlier this game might have been flipped around potentially so now just going to siege up he's got twice the supply of Arter Turtle just macroing really really well but I gotta say I'm proud of um, this is just like dad talk here I'm really proud of Arter Turtle for playing like a game where he was in a situation potentially to pull it out had things gone a little bit different here and there and actually playing just heads up so it does end up losing this one but put up in my opinion a decent showing right now in a dire situation some lurkers looking to cut off the reinforcements a lot of lurkers here at the natural expansion he's in that not so great situation where he's trying to recapture if he could take out that science vessel that would be huge because we have no additional science vessels out we also have a lot more medic marines moving out to go ahead and uh either join or just cut off anything that would be coming out here. The Lurker's getting a good burrow. Ooh, another good line. Fortunately, not a scourge in the space of this. The Nidus Canal's up. Do we have the Nidus Canal planted to kind of... No, not planted. And unfortunately, there's enough already. Yeah, Art Hurdle going to GG right there. Artosis just able to swarm. So Old Man Artosis able to sniff a lot of that out. Have some really solid macro. But Art Hurdle... I think he had a pretty solid strategy right there and put some good fight into this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.